Cisco. Uh, five to four was the final. They'll play the Giants again tonight. Nine forty-five is your first pitch. So around nine fifteen is when the pregame will get going here on MMS, and also listen on the iHeartRadio app. And then they will continue that series um, tomorrow afternoon before they come back home to host the Rangers uh, for the weekend, and then hit the road again. So the last few weeks of the regular season. Uh, still time for those Guardians to get themselves into some October ball. <laughs> if they if they really put the pedal to the metal. They're 68 and 77. Do you think they'll win 70 games by the end of the regular season? I think they will. They've been spinning their wheels the whole time. I know. They really they it's going to be tough, but I think they'll get there. Well, when they play the Royals, uh, maybe that'll give them a leg up. Maybe, but yep. I'm going to count on it. The Royals have lost 100 games. That's so <sighs> you have to work to do that. Mm-hmm. You have to re- work really hard to have 44 wins at this point in the season. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is out Ugh. for the season. Only four snaps in. You watched the game last night, Bill? Oh, yeah. I did, too. Why didn't you ask me? You watched the game, Mary? Sure did. Yep. Did you know that he was out for the season until like 10 minutes ago? No. Okay. I knew he got hurt. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's H- Who do you used to play for? Years with the Rams, <laughs> the former first round pick of the Bears, and now Rodgers sits down. A loss of 10 on the play, and hopefully the Jets are thinking that's the only loss on that play. See what happened at the end of it. Take a look here oh, at the very end. And- God. Yeah. Yeah. He he just, it. Oh, God, that's terrible. Dude gave up $35 million to be a Jet and played four snaps. Oh, he gave up money yeah. to play with the Jets. Five if you count his Achilles. Well, Packers fans are celebrating. And I don't think it, like why celebrate that because that that's what sports like, fans do. Yeah, it's terrible. Zach so. Wilson's probably celebrating these poor Jets fans. Now they got to watch Zach Wilson. But the then they the still season. won. If you're a Bills they still fan, won. Yeah. crazy game. It was it was it was, it was fun. very fun. Yeah, it was. We needed a good Short Monday night game. Gibson on the return, near side. I don't see any flags, and he's gonna go. Just win it. Touchdown, rookie Xavier Gibson. Game over. Joe Buck with the follow call, Jets 22, Bill 16. That dude was a darling on hard knocks. Yeah. So it was good to see him get that big moment like that. So Aaron Rodgers is out for the – you can't have granddad out there bobbing and weaving with an offensive line that bad. Mm. His guy's shucking and jiving and – ah, oh, come on. RG3's already pitching himself, by the way. So you yeah, guys got to get a veteran this in morning. there. He's like, yeah, if someone, you know, whether it's Cam Newton or – uh, Carson Wentz or me. <laughs> it's like, dude, you haven't been playing like four years. Pulling the old Dick Cheney. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the Jets still managed to win, which means everybody, all the Bills fans were screaming at Josh Allen, who is dating Haley Steinfeld, who's really foxy. She's an actress and a singer. And, of course, when that happens, I don't know why it's these— It's the natural— I don't know phenomenon. why celebrities want to date athletes, because as soon as they have an off week, it's all your fault. Right. Everybody's like, you should pay more attention to the, uh. Let's see, uh, do I want to pay more attention to the football game or Haley Steinfeld naked? I wonder. That touchdown pass that Zach Wilson had was amazing. Garrett Wilson, he, he throws it to no Garrett relation. Wilson. And, uh, yeah, it's not related. And he, like, taps it and then is, like, falling down and, like, brings like it in. Fumble, and it's, not yeah. fumbles it, but, like, he's like bobbling like it. He's yeah, hot potatoing it. Yeah, <laughs> but he caught it, and it was, it was a great catch. Hmm. So that was that was cool, but yeah, Josh Allen had a terrible game. He had three interceptions, uh, and, and looks like the curse of the Haley Steinfeld. Because remember the, the curse natural curse of Haley Steinfeld. Yeah, remember the natural yeah. with Robert Redford. Yeah, he starts dating the lady, and then uh, the bad guy lady, not the good guy lady, and then it he's not good, and then he breaks up with her, and then he starts hitting balls into the lights. Who do, who's the bad lady? I don't remember. Well, here are the women in The Natural. I assume Kim Basinger was the good woman. I think so, yeah. Glenn Close? Maybe. Barbara Hershey? Wilford also. Brimley? Yeah. That's yeah did he Wilford, date Wilford yeah. Brimley in The Diabetes. Natural? Diabetes. 
that would be great if they did a movie and he dated Wilford Brimley. He awesome. I just, <laughs> yeah, I can't that, quit you. The the uh, conservatives would call that the unnatural. That's right. Diabetes. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? 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 what you got? Diabetes. What? Yeah. Di- di- diabetes. What you got? If you have diabetes what? and you're on what? Medicare, your testing supplies may be covered. <laughs> Here's how it works. What you got? Diabetes. What you got? Diabetes. What you got? Diabetes. Type three. Diabetes. What you got? Diabetes. What you got? Diabetes. All right. Yeah, he gets shot by Barbara Hershey in that movie. And then he comes back. So that sounds like the bad, bad guy lady. That does sound like the bad no, guy. No, but like lady. he like dates one that's like Kim Basinger. Okay, but I can't remember. It's very similar to how, how it goes down into in uh, Major League. Because mm-hmm. I think it was actually Major League 2. There's the lady that's the school teacher, and she's sweet and nice. And then he starts dating the lady that's, like, all about his image and trying to make money. And that's when he starts sucking. Right. Wild thing sucks. Because it's not the yeah. pure love of the game. Right. What was his name in The Natural? Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> Batty McHome Run. <laughs> <laughs> Batty McHome Run? Yeah. Roy Hobbs was Robert Redford Roy in The Natural. Hobbs. Roy that Hobbs. That was my second guess. Yeah, it was Batty McNatural, <laughs> Batty McHome Run, Batty and McHome then Run, Roy yeah. Hobbs. Yes. So uh, Jets are no longer a contender, for. I think that's fair to say, for the 2023 season. But uh, Zach Wilson's mom, still hot. And we'll see Zach what uh, happens. Zach Wilson's still hot. All right. Uh, your Browns will be playing Monday night football next week. We'll be doing a Cox out somewhere. I can't wait to tell you where. It's going to be Browns in Pittsburgh doing away games for the Cox out this year. So I hope you can come join us. And as soon as I know where we'll be, I'll tell you. And it'll be a lot of fun. Um, you can call us, by the way. If you're not able to call us live, a lot of people opt to just leave us voicemails, and you can certainly do that. Uh, 216-986-8903. That's the Alan Cox Show After Hours line. Hey, Alan. Listen, brother, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say, uh, when you play Hot Nuts, you need to play that Georgia White version. That's the better version. Don't play that David Lee Roth knockoff version that you play all the time. (laughs) Don't play that skippity-boop-bop version of Hot Nuts. Please, just stick to the original. Stick to what you know. Stick to what made the song great. Play the Georgia White version. Please. No more David Lee Roth or whoever the hell that is. Please. Thank you. It's Chick Willis. It's not David Lee Roth. It's great. I like the Chick Willis version. Yeah, it's great. David Lee Roth. This is the late great Chick Willis. What do you first of all, anybody who starts a call with, I think a lot of people agree with me, you're immediately your credibility is shot because you're only speaking for yourself. You're not speaking In this case, for other people. He may be I only right. speak for myself and right. you're speaking for yours. I speak for a lot of people. No, you don't. Yeah. I like the girl version better. Well, the only reason I switched to Chick Willis is because I beat the ever loving piss out of the original one a couple of years ago. I think this one. People were getting ready to hang themselves. I think so. this one is more upbeat and fun, and I like the stoop down man part. <laughs> I eat nuts anytime I can. Yeah, someone started bothered by weird things, Mary. <laughs> Listen, that guy speaks for a lot of people, so I can't argue with that. Yeah, I only I only speak for myself. Yeah. 
Weird, because I have a much bigger platform, but I still only uh, mm-hmm. speak for myself. Uh-huh. Selling nuts. Alan. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe I'll, the only, again, the only reason I switched to Chick Willis is because I just beat that into the ground uh, a couple years ago whenever we fell out, when somebody turned me on to hot nuts. But, uh, yeah. Somebody uh, tagged us in a post last night. Uh, Seneca over on Instagram oh, yeah. tagged us in boy dinner. Yeah. And it was hot. It was a bag of hot nuts and rip roar and fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a two liter. You've seen girl dinner, right? Oh, Have yeah. you seen girl that? Uh, pickles the, uh, and like a cheese stick. Yeah, I kind of don't understand. I mean, I, I guess context clues I was able to figure it out, but I didn't understand the origin of it. They're just saying that girls have a tendency to kind of snack around for dinner if you don't have anything planned, which I'm 100%. Why is that, but why was that just attached to girls? I don't know. That yeah, I don't that, know. That's I've what done I didn't it, get. But I figured a, men had done it too. But there's plenty of times where I'm like, I ate a bag of Funyuns, a bowl of cereal, and a LaCroix for dinner. Really? Yeah. So bad for you. It's very bad for you. I'm not saying it's okay. If you're wondering what boy dinner is, go to your local supermarket at 6.30 p.m. and stand behind a single man and see what's inside of his basket. One time, I was behind a guy who was getting a family-sized block of butter, the generic brand of mac and cheese, not craft, and a bottle of drain cleaner. Boy dinner or last meal on earth? Yeah, he probably wasn't going to drink the drain, oh dummy. Boy, it's a joke. I, keep I know, but that's works. lame. That's the stupid. Comedy. I want to hear, no, I want to hear all foods. That's what's funny. Like we used to play Walmart bingo, right? Three things you picked up at Walmart. That it, you know, I got a toilet seat, I got a goldfish, and I got a bag of ruffles. That's not all foods. Guys not, huh? Well, that's what you think. Well, you know. But uh, <laughs> the, but Walmart bingo wasn't all food. Yeah. If we're talking boy-girl boy girl dinner, that's all food. Guy's not drinking a Drano. Trying to think of the last meal I had. Roti- like that. Here's here's a. Good but how did gr- I'm curious like how a, girl dinner it's got just started? It's like a meme. It's just yes, TikTok. a TikTok because there's a sound where it goes girl dinner, girl dinner. And there's also a yeah. filter that's like, what's your girl dinner? And it's mm-hmm. like a little thing that shows up and tells you what you're gonna eat. So everybody else was leapfrogging or, 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 or springboarding off that, but I'm just curious how it started. I think that's how it started. I think you asked too many questions. With somebody saying girl dinner? I think, dude, social Someone media making, trends yeah. make no sense. One viral video that nobody in this room has ever seen, and then it's a trend on TikTok. Hmm. Uh, boy dinner, one of my common ones would be something like a rotisserie chicken and then chips and salsa. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you just... <laughs> Because then you're getting some vegetables with the salsa. Sure. And then you're getting your uh, starches with the, the chips. And then you get some uh, protein with the chicken. Oh, now yeah? That, now that I got a blender, I'm just putting everything in a blender and I just drink it. Rotisserie yeah. chicken and salsa? Everything. Everything goes in a blender. It's all going to go down the same hole anyway, so might as well just blend it's it. It's all going to go down the same hole. Mm. And it's going to come out the same hole, too. Pretty much. That's the best part of it. I had a lunch like that the other day. I was at uh, the Richmond Airport, which is a... Trash airport. There are some that are so small where you're like, okay, there's only four gates, whatever. But Richmond's Richmond, a pretty big city. It's like an international airport, and it was horrible. They had one little concession stand or, like, you know, like the news stand or whatever, Hudson News, that all of the coolers were broken in. Richmond is not a big city, by the way. It's not huge, We're but talking it's, Richmond, Virginia? A couple of hundred thousand people, yeah. Okay. It's on, um, it's on, it says it's an international airport or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. They had one newsstand that all of the coolers were broken in. So there was no cold drinks. There was, like, room temperature water, and there were no, like, grab-and-go sandwiches. And then there was one restaurant. So those were your options, where, like, you can have a snack or you can eat at this one restaurant where they only had a limited menu. It was, like, fried, all fried (laughs) foods. It was, like, potato skins, mozzarella sticks, chicken wings. Yeah. And they cornered the market on, wow. So I had a banana. Um, I had a pack of M&M's. I had, what was the other thing I had? Oh, a uh, granola bar and an Adderall. <laughs> wow. And an Adderall. Yeah. And an Adderall. <laughs> Polish it all off. Got a lot of work oh, done. Well done. Yeah. Boy dinner. Wow. All right, well, there you go. I know I've made a crazy boy dinners before. Like what? Uh, I made a barbecue pork and penne skillet. That's not 
I mean, it was all I had, it. Mary. You, you get it? it? It was all I had. You don't get the boy. Yeah, boy dinner. No. Yes. I made a citrus coconut steamed cod. No. I'm looking around. I'm like, all right, I have, I guess I have these oranges and I have this coconut. And what am I going to do with this fish? Beef jerky and popcorn. That's a boy dinner. <laughs> That's a lot of fiber. That's how Brian ate before I moved in with him. I told yeah, him. But, it's, but you just said you had an Adderall for dinner. So how are well, you improving I, his? I don't eat like that all the time. Because eh. Brian's a vegetarian. Yep. So he would just do whatever was easy. So there were Adderall's of vegetarian. It is. Yep. Sure is. Mm. Where he would have like, I'd ask him what he had for dinner. And he'd be like, oh, you know, I had a bag of popcorn and some pretzels and hummus. And I'm like, That's your dinner. Well, yeah, I had ice cream too. <laughs> okay. I had ice cream too. <laughs> all right. so good. Dude, he bought me these little, they're 100 calorie, dairy free ice cream sandwiches. The skinny cows? No, well, which I know sound disgusting to you guys, but to not be able to have ice cream sandwiches yeah, no, and then get fine. like the perfect little size, yeah. the brand was so delicious. I like ice cream sandwiches. How long sandwiches? does the box last? There's eight. A day? No, I tried to <laughs> only have one a day. I only had one last night. I'll probably have another one tonight, but they're so good. Wow. All right. Well, that's something. Anyone? I saw Ric Flair is in uh, Northeast Ohio today. Do you see the Ric Flair thing? He, remember Nature Boy Ric Flair? Yeah. He is promoting an energy drink, which again, listen, you got to keep yourself top of mind. Ric Flair is like 98 years old. I don't know if he should be drinking energy drinks or his heart explodes, but uh, he's all over the place today. He's at the Painesville Giant Eagle, if you're out that way, right about now. Yeah, woo! That's the name of the drink. He's going to be at the Stowe Giant Eagle at uh, 6 o'clock. Oh, so he's literally going to different places all day. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Did the North Homestead Giant Eagle uh, closer to noon? Yeah. You can buy a six-pack of Woo Energy. Oh, it really is called that? I yeah, it's called Woo. Joking. No, I wasn't joking. That's funny. Dragon fruit, lemon, and strawberry banana flavors. Uh, so there you go. Hopefully his heart won't explode when he's out there uh, promoting it. But Ric Flair, who is still alive. You know, a lot of those wrestlers didn't live that long. And Ric Flair, I got to tell you, I'm surprised he's still alive. He's 74 years old. A lot of the guys didn't make it that long. Remember when Hulk Hogan died? No. He's not dead. I'm sorry? <laughs> he's not dead. He just oh, died. Nobody remembers pretend that. Pretend canceled. <laughs> you, you don't remember that? I'm sorry. I meant that his uh, career for a month was dead. Right. He got pretend canceled. So, yeah, uh, Ric Flair is going all throughout the region. He's doing uh, Pittsburgh Giant Eagles tomorrow for our Pittsburgh listeners. Wow. Big Ric Flair fan. He's going to be at the Shaler Giant Eagle. He's g- I'm sorry, the Giant Eagle. He's going to be out in Moreauville Giant Eagle. And he's going to be stopping off at the Century Plaza Giant Eagle right out there in West Mifflin. So, you're a big fan. Get out there. Go, hey, woo Let me get a six-pack. Where's Isley's chip chop ham? What aisle is that? Go see him. Uh, before you can't see him any longer because he will die. You know? Well, he will. I mean, Terry Everyone Funk does. died. Terry Funk just died. He was about the same age as Ric Flair. So you hate to see these uh, guys go by the wayside. I mean, but they both lived to be quite old for wrestlers. Yeah. Wrestlers don't make it to their 60s and 70s. That's right. Often. Look what happened to Ram Robinson. Okay. He died young, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bill. What? Phil said, okay. Yeah, he died young. <laughs> I don't know who Ram uh, Robinson uh, is. Right. He's yeah. Mickey Rourke. <laughs> oh, the... In the wrestler. Oh, the Ram. Okay. The Ram. Who's Ram Robinson. The... And he got to bang Marissa Tomei one last time. Yeah, he did. That was good. Let me take a break here. If you want those Glorious Sons tickets, they're coming through on the Glory Tour. A couple of tickets for that for you. 35192 on a text, and we'll be back. This is the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iOS.